Are you having trouble connecting your smart bulbs to your Wi-Fi? If you're like me, I had a lot of trouble trying to connect these uh, colored uh, uh, smart bulbs to my Wi-Fi. And that's because Cox, that's who I'm with, they have this new uh, um, Wi-Fi, uh, uh, I was going to say Rotom, uh, modem router that is connected so it's it's both the same it's 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 a motor a modem and a router connected in one and um it automatically chooses the network for you and they say it's for convenience but it's not really convenient when you need to be able to choose between one uh uh network or the other you don't you know because you got the the 2.4 network and then you got the 5g network so you got to be able to, to get to the 2.4 with these things. These things only work on 2.4. So if you connect them, they won't connect. So how do you do it? Well, the way I did it, and I've seen some videos where people like taking their light bulbs outside and walking 30 feet away from the house. So that way it automatically switches over to the, um, the 2.4 and they just put the light bulb on a, uh, you know, in a, in a, um, in a, whatever and they connect it with the extension cord is basically what I'm trying to say I don't know why I can't say that but the problem is how am I gonna connect this to an extension cord and take it outside I mean put it on a lamp and then put it on an extension cord and go outside I live in an apartment complex that's gonna look hella ghetto <laughs> if I was at a house maybe I'd do that but since I'm not at a house I'm apartment complex I'm not gonna do that so I had to figure out something else so all I did was I actually signed into the um, the modem, the router. Uh, I signed in and all I did was disable the 5G network. It was, that, it was really simple, actually. I was scared to do it because, you know, I'm not very technical. But I did it and it worked. So all you got to do is I'm not going to show you my stuff because i have it on the screen right now but i don't want to put that on the internet so that way everybody can get on my stuff nah that ain't gonna be like that so you're just gonna have to figure it out yourself <laughs> but it's easy you go to uh you just google how to disable um five the, the 5g network on your panoramic wi-fi modem that's all i did i just Type that in. Then it takes you to the Google website or the uh, the um, the Cox website, and it just gives you a little list of things to do to shut it off. And all you have to do is you don't have to change the name, you don't have to disable the band steering, you don't none of that. You just have to disable it for about five minutes while you're doing this, and then you turn it back on. And once you turn it back on, these are automatically going to connect to the 2.4 no matter what. And if you if they disconnect for some reason, it's real simple. You just connect again back to your panoramic Wi-Fi um, router and then boom, you'll be set up. So, I mean, I, I was talking a lot, so I bet you a lot of people are going to watch the full video. <laughs> but whatever it is, what it is. If you are looking for a tip to get these damn lights to work, that's how you do it. It's your boy, Samson Biggs. And um, yeah, just I'll be back with more videos shortly. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If I helped you, subscribe. I don't know why people don't subscribe when you help them, but stop being stingy with the subscribe. I, I subscribe to everyone that helps me. So just subscribe. There's nothing wrong with subscribing. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to mess up your experience on YouTube if you subscribe to somebody. It is what it is. <laughs> so subscribe. <laughs>